24 hours later. This is by far the most I've bought in a day of boot sailing. I was even saying that Sunday hasn't been the best and then yesterday produces this. Two full tables and my office chair full of goodies to obviously sell for lots and lots of profit. Had to pay up on a couple of bits like I usually do but there's quite a few bargains in here especially on this chair. Because uh, I've got so much I probably can't go into each individual thing um, in detail like I normally do. Quickly scan through if there's something I've, you've seen before then obviously I just say the price what I paid for it what I'm aiming to get. I'm not going into too much detail what to look for because you've seen it before. There's a lot to get through so we'll start at this far end, work my way around, no particular order, both boot sales are mixed together. Exciting stuff, let's get going. So this is the first table, again I won't go into too much detail, but we've got a Fishmate uh, P21. This is one of the first things I picked up. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was no more than £5, I think it was like £2 or £3. Uh, these Fishmates, you can get Catmate as well. They tend to go well, obviously just make sure it's working. This should be a £25-£30 sale. Standard Amazon game, uh, paid £2.50. This is on the second boot sale. General board game going to Amazon, £20-£25 now. Maybe Q4, a bit more, £25-£30, maybe £35, depending on competition. This is really cool, I loved this game. We had this growing up, uh, I think this is late 90s, early 2000s, Crossfire. The newer version, I don't think they would allow it now. You basically fire metal balls at the things in the middle trying to score in each other's net awesome game if you haven't played it if you get one try it out before you sell it uh, these do go on amazon i was selling them at amazon for like 40 45 pounds so i might try that again uh, ebay i'm not sure on the price maybe 25 30 but that's exactly why i send stuff like this to amazon just basically fetches higher prices this is a keeper uh bought this from a subscriber uh bought it for five pounds to help him out thanks for that he bought a badge from me that is a keeper thanks for that mate Polaroid, another standard item from me. A 636 close-up instant camera. Again, these can go at Amazon. I think the price has come down. This is a nice one. Obviously, I've got a blank tape to make sure it's working, like the flash is working and the mechanism. Uh, paid five, I think it was. Uh, and this should be at Amazon, 30, 35 pounds. At eBay, obviously, the price has come right down. 20, 25 instead of 30, 35 at Amazon. So I'll check the prices out and see where to put that. Got a plush, not very often I pick up plushes, but do you remember this fella? I think this is Mog the Cat from Sainsbury's a Christmas advert. I'm pretty sure it's Sainsbury's, people went mental for him. Pretty sure it was a pound. Checking prices quickly, I should still get sort of 16, 18 pounds plus postage. So for a soft plush toy, again, easy post like trainers. Yeah, happy to find him or her. Footwear, quickly go through these. 10 pounds on these football boots. Uh, these are Kzar 5s. Nice, I think these are made from kangaroo leather actually, uh, or there is a certain kind, I'm not sure if this is the exact one. Really good condition, uh, doesn't really need much of a clean up, uh, make them look good. Paid 10, this should be 35-ish pound sale there, and nice and easy and should sell really quick. Puma Sprint, size 8 I believe it was, really clean, just looks nice. Paid £4 for these it was, uh, and this is a 25-28 pound sale there, plus postage. Been picking up a few of these fillers i've got two pairs here this is a smaller one of the two i think it's a size four or five these were the cheaper ones i think these were only three pound two or three pound uh 20 25 pound sale there standard bigger pair i think size seven or eight nice glossy pink color five or six pound i think it was uh it should get a bit more because of the color and full of size so maybe 28 30 pound plus postage so yeah again easy post these were my favorite these were my favourite trainers or footwear of the day, uh, apart from the football boots. Paid £8 for these, uh, Nike Air Max. Really cool, they looked vintage and retro. I did actually take a picture of the inside tag when I was there. I don't think I got this on film. But I took a picture of the inside to look up the code and see if they were fake or not. I wasn't sure. So I haven't seen this design before. And I know Air Maxes are heavily faked. I've been caught out a couple of times. Done a research, uh, they looked genuine, went back, uh, they wouldn't go any lower than eight. So I paid it, it's a nice bargain price. This should be a nice return of sort of 40 to 50 pounds. So yeah, really good. Obviously I've got the other one in there. Just clean them up a bit, make them look good, send them strong. Already got one of these to list. Uh, Mickey Mouse backpack telephone, exactly the same. This one was only five pounds. I think the other one I had to pay like 15, 20 pounds for. Should get sort of 40-ish pounds return. 
So yeah, exactly the same as I've already got. And this one's actually a bit cleaner on the face. I think the other one's got a slight mark. Awesome stuff. Love a bit of footwear, I forgot about these. Uh, North Wave snowboarding boots. I think they're a size nine or 10. Overall good condition, a few marks. Snowboarding boots tend to fetch good money. Uh, obviously just double check because they can vary like everything really. Uh, paid 15 I think it was for these. And this should be a nice 50 pound at least sale, 45, 50. Maybe pushing a bit more. Really cool to find them. Got a neck back massager here. Um, paid, I think it was three pound for this, three or four pound. There's home medics, like the big back massages I've buy before. I can't find a badge. This one's for your neck, for your back, shoulders. It does all of them. Uh, yeah, three or four pound. Should be 30, 35 pound sale. Very nice markup and not too big. Bought these together from the same dealer. I think they do house clearances. I see them at my Wednesdays and the Sunday sales. 10 pound for the sign and 20 for this stuff i've never picked this stuff up before but all together i got them for 25 so knocked off a fiver which is fine with me uh, this sign it's not old or anything well it's sort of old but it's just a um reproduction it's like a 3d wooden sign like the camera here is 3d really nice needs a bit of a clean i think i like a spider nest or something on it when i was looking at it yeah this should be uh depending on competition and things it's a good uh, subject matter like photographers like on put it on their office or in on the workshop or something might ask uh say 40 to 50 again look at competition might be lower might be higher but yeah definitely safe with my money there and this new stuff i've never picked up before We've got some harnesses. I've seen a few people uh, do well with uh, harnesses, like for tree surgeons or like window cleaners. Wasn't too sure what these ones are for, so a bit of research needed. Uh, well, definitely research needed, so I don't know what I'm looking at to be honest. Uh, looked up the name, this is Miller by Spirian, I think that is. That one looks unused, which is quite cool. There's some different bits and bobs. Got another one here, it's all by the same make, this Miller. £25 for both. This should be getting 40 ish pounds. This stuff, if it's what I've been looking at, at least 80 pounds. Uh, if there's multiple things, then probably into three figures for this bag full of harnesses, which is really cool. But this is a good opportunity. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, because I will hopefully be selling this stuff and you'll be seeing exactly what I did get. So you see if my three figure prediction is right or not. One table down, table two. We've got like tech corner now, including a chair. So again, whiz through this. This was mostly my hi-fi guy. He was there. I didn't see my shoes and boots, man. I was actually running out of money. Um, so I avoided him. I've got plenty of shoes anyway. So I didn't really need to see him yesterday. Hopefully next week. Because um, my hi-fi doesn't do it every week. He sort of does once or twice a month. But yeah, he was there. Got some cracking bits. Uh, spent £110 with him altogether. I got one, two, three four for a hundred uh and before that he wasn't at his stall his wife was a i think it's his wife or his partner and got that for 10. so we'll start with this one this is a clark semi-professional metal detector metal detectors can be worth a lot of money um especially if they're really high-end ones easily three figures this one's a semi-professional so i guess mid-range maybe everything's there it's all working the only thing that is missing is this screw on bit here so there's two poles and it obviously extends, but without this screw on bit, they separate, which is a bit of a pain. I'm gonna try and source one of these or get a broken one maybe, and then take this bit off, complete this, cause it's all working. As I said, pay 10 pound, it's all working. Just need to try and find that bit. And this should be a nice 60 to 80 pound sale. So it gets us off to a good mark with the electronics. And it only gets better. Uh, this wasn't from Hi-Fi Guy. This is just from a random, uh, I think it was just a family, just having a clear out. Triton electric shower. 10.5 kilowatt wasn't sure on showers i know they can go well if they're new uh, unused inside uh, they can go for good money used as well but i had a quick checkup i had to cheat and I, this one does fetch good money and when i came to ask it's brand new just like i thought yeah awesome stuff the only thing it hasn't got is the shower head which isn't a problem people replace shower heads anyway the, the main unit brand new unused it's just an open scruffy box paid only 10 pounds which is an absolute bargain because this if it was brand new like sealed and everything this is like a hundred pound plus item a uh, really good unit it's like a higher power model i think new with an open box without a head i don't know if the head actually came with the original shower anyway again at least 60 to 80 pound there 
probably more of the 80 range 80 85 pushing 90 maybe we'll see again with competition bog standard crt tv we've got a sanyo here 14 inches across retro gamers like them i've banged on about these enough before paid four pound no remote should still get 40 45 pound he's made i think this is the third or fourth one i've got now that i haven't listed because i need to test them and descale them yeah just a goblin tea's made this is looks like a 70s type one it's quite a bit to test you've got to obviously make sure it boils keeps the time the light works bit of a pain but only paid five pounds if all good and working should be 35 40 pound now i went back to hi-fi guy after i got that and then i came back when he was there uh it was he he knows what i like now really trustworthy if it says something's working it's working so yeah, high confidence. I don't mind paying up and I get good quality stuff. Like I said, these four bits here, 100 pound all in. Didn't even need to negotiate. He said 100, I paid 100. Got to keep my guy happy because obviously he keeps bringing this good stuff back again. So got to keep him in the good books. Uh, sometimes you might buy something that I'm not really keen on, but can still make a bit of money. He gets his money, keep that rolling on. Start with this Technic set. Uh, like picking these up there's no speakers but this little stack always sells really well you can separate each one maybe but uh, the amplifier tends to go well on its own and the cd player but sometimes the cassette deck and the tuner they're not so highly needed or wanted so maybe sell them together we can sell it complete like that there's a bit of wear to the dial i'll try and clean it up uh, this should be, if I complete it like this, um, 80 to 90 pounds. So I've nearly paid for my whole lot already, just off this one sale when it comes in. Sony Smart Engine VHS. Uh, this was in the same deal, SLV SE730. Sony did a whole range of smart engines that you'll probably see out and about. Um, it tends to be the bigger the number here, the SE number, the more money they tend to fetch. Uh, no remote, but I'm pretty sure I have a spare one that I can complete this with. Again, just double check it is testing and working. Put a picture of the telly uh, in my listing for buyer confidence. And this should be a nice 40 to 45, maybe 50 pound item here. Well on our way to major profit. Then we've got a couple of B&O pieces. B&O, Bang & Olufsen, always going to fetch good money. Even small parts to complete things or to fix things. If it's B&O, you're basically guaranteeing money. And here I've got, I think this can go with this, but I'm going to split them out. Beovox S2200 speakers. This normal standard speakers, nice and square. Should be not a problem to post. I've got plenty of square boxes here. Really good sound, top quality name. Uh, this should be an easy sale of 80, 85, maybe a little bit more sale. The slight bit of damage to the grill here, which is a bit of a shame. Should be easy and quick to sell. Really good name. Perfect. And to go with that, Last of all, we've got another Bang & Olufsen item. We've got the BO Center 2200. So I guess they do go there. So I guess they do go together as this is the 2200 speakers. But I might split them out like I said, might put them together. I have tested this one. He said he hadn't, he powered it on, it all powers on and everything, but he didn't test uh, these two. But for hundred pound for all this, uh, I was taking that risk. I have powered it on since. Uh, the record player works, that's in good working condition, that's really good. Uh, the only thing is the cassette tape isn't working. Uh, put a cassette in, played, rewound and everything, and you can hear the motor going, but I'm pretty sure the bands are diminished. So I could try and fix it and get top money, or I could just sell as is. I think this is the main part that's working, and the radio works as well. It's like an all-in-one thing, really nice thing. If I do attempt to fix it, and I do manage to fix it, this is probably 180 to 200 on its own, just this thing here. Uh, partly working, like the radio's working, the record player's working, maybe one, 120. Yeah, and it's a debut for the chair holding some stock. Uh, this was amazing. I think I filmed for at least 10 minutes just on this stool, just scrolling through. She had a few clothes, a few bits and bobs, and then a tarpaulin full of film cameras, camcorders, everything. Looking back now, I should have maybe offered just to buy the lot, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. I picked out my favourites, I took a few guesstimates as well that like i wasn't sure but going from past experiences what i've picked up before i've had cameras before like halls so yeah going on experience that i've had a couple of guesses at obviously camcorders took them straight away she wanted three pound only for camcorders two pound each for film cameras this in total here cost me 39 pounds i wasn't arguing about that's dirt cheap uh that would be taking the mick a little bit especially as one of these cameras alone this one here the olympus af1 
that's a 40 to 50 pound camera on its own so as soon as that sells that's basically covered everything else and obviously i would say camcorders are really good the only thing is they don't come with chargers or anything so but at three pound i'm willing to take a gamble and at three pound even if they're not working i can still get 15 20 pound for spares repairs or parts so this was yeah i was never going to lose out on this deal absolutely amazing we've got a Umig Sound 31 there, Canon camcorder, two Samsungs, another two Samsungs, and then just Olympus, Olympus, uh, Minolta. We've got an Olympus Mu, it's not the one, it's a Zoom 105 and it's faulty. I've put a battery in and this bit's clicking. Um, it zooms in and out, but yeah, that's not good, but I'll still try and fetch money for that. Another Olympus, this is worth 30-ish pound, 30, 35. This I took a guess at a canon prima mini this looked nice uh trying to look at the lens and things but yeah that's another 20 25 pound sale there got a brawn this one's fetches good money as well 40 50 pound amazing loads of money uh like i said this whole chair here costs 39 pound uh i'm gonna be making hundreds <laughs> on this deal here um can't wait to get stuck in and start listing it yeah told you it was a good one this is easily the best and biggest haul i've had this year uh, before and after lockdown i did have one a few weeks ago this is definitely topped it especially with the cameras my hi-fi guy came up trumps and just got good quality stuff over there as well so yeah and i'm hoping this shows the vast range of knowledge i've managed to get throughout the years it's not just overnight i've gained this knowledge like i've got plush toys i've got a fish feeder trainers electronics yeah fast range of things but that comes with time i've been doing this now full time for four years now full time before that i was doing it part time two or three years so seven eight years all in so if you are just starting out getting frustrated it takes time uh it's not just like that uh gotta put the work and graft in basically so i hope this motivates you throughout the week and on the weekend to get out hunting the stuff is out there you've got to go and find it if you did enjoy this i hope you did Smash that like button, really helps me and the channel out, gives it a nice boost. Subscribe if you're not already, like I've said. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.